morning and welcome to the daily vlog it's very windy here in south yorkshire and it doesn't look too promising with the clouds either um so i don't think there'll be much combining going off today um it's not looking great for uh, up until the weekend really but anyway we've got plenty of stuff to catch up on and uh, we'll uh, get the day started right we'll get the nine meter out of the shed time we on um, and we'll get some bales put in we're in the 6130R now we'll get loaded up with straw we'll fill back up and we're going to try and blow some straw in um, it's not the wind that might be a little bit of a problem today. Yeah, just a bit. But it is covering the, the pen. We're just not really going to get it to the back today. Yeah, it is the downside of using straw blowers. Um, when it's windy, they ain't as effective. But I'm driving all this thing it out by hand or wasting a lot of straw by dropping bales into pens. I mean I know we're wasting straw with it going out here but the majority is going into the pen. Before I forget this weekend it's tractor pulling at Great Eccleston so think like 4,000 horsepower uh, tractors not looking anything like this. Um, it looked look sort of more like a dragster than anything. Well they have got like dragster engines in it. That's happening Friday, Saturday and Sunday, so check that out, just search for Great, um, Great Eccleston tractor pulling, you'll find it on there. Um, it's, it is a really good event and it happens at night and they're like flames come up out of the engine and stuff. Me, Ash, uh, Ollie, um, Charlotte and, and, and those lot have been the last couple of years and I'm crossing my fingers that we're going to get there on Saturday, Saturday I think it's going to be when me and Ash are going to try and get there. We've got we've got hotel booked and everything, but if uh, if we end up being you know combining or something like that, if the weather changes, then we might have to um, we might have to chalk it off. But at the minute we're going. So Noah's going to pick up a bale, and get that put in here, and I cut it with my Milwaukee knife. The good these, you know. I wish I were sponsored by him, I'm not, but it's a good knife. I think I'm gonna check the scrap trailer. We might take some scrap out of the way because I know it's full and we could do a bit of a clean up so we can get more bales in. Scrap yard's not far, it's like literally half a mile and um, get it out of the way. So Noah's gonna be using the 130 for the mill, which is a bit of a pain because that means I've got to take the 210 uh, to the scrapyard and yeah it's uh, it's tight down there and this is not the most nimble tractor we own in fact it's the worst nimble tractor we own I think the scrap trays are particularly safe with the ring feeder on top so we'll get that removed so we're going to get some milling done now we're going to get on with that in this wind it's not ideal but it needs to be done today so we'll be on it um, I'll go and lift this ring feeder out and either smash it down or um, pick it up another time. To be fair, there is one side of it that is good. There's a washing machine in there as well. I'm not gonna say it's good, but it's usable. Like if you had another half that, that was um, that was all right, you'd have one good half. So would anybody want it? I don't know, what are you gonna give me? 20 quid? 20 quid for it? Anybody want to give me 20 quid for that? Why be not? You can have it. Right, we'll back up, we'll put some straps on and we'll get us way down to the scrapyard. Before I go to the scrapyard though, we've got to find a cow. Looking for a specific number. So hopefully these guys stay laid down we can find it. You're all coming to see me, aren't you? Hello. Yes, you're lovely. You are. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, fancy new tractor in the yard. Jim's. 
Bandit Scrapyard. We're just tipping off. I hope that doesn't rip me back door off. Potential. There's always potential. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So everything out of there gone. Is the man, the myth, the legend? He wants. To, I'm just throwing you under the bus a bit here, aren't I? No, you're not. It's James Wallace. Listen, farming scrap, all like that. We do all farming scrap in area. Good prices, proper weights, proper certificates, everything. We want batteries, balers, power fire extinguishers. I've seen down there. I will give fire extinguishers. We'll give farm a fire extinguisher. We put a fire out the other day. You know what? Uh, Waldron's. Oh yeah, yeah. On yeah. farm, we were there last night. Put a fire out in field, helping yes. farmer. Scrap man, come fire crew. Have you got a fire engine still? I've got a fire engine, but the only reason we bought a fire engine is because as prices are that hot, we needed it to put it out. <laughs> That's our best as prices are, but we, we, what is it? Last night, we were in that field helping farmers put a field out. Yeah, 10 o'clock. There, there, yeah. there we go. So, so come what and see, Jimmy. Yeah. And, he's, and he, want, he wants to get into TikTok, so we're going to sort that out in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Check him come, out soon. Come down. And Action. How are you doing? Oh, you're in the new payment office, aren't you? Who's this bloke then? Yeah? Jay Wallace Metals, page on time, bank transfer. No problems, yeah? All new offices built to, to pay people and make sure they get served properly. It's done right and all, isn't it? With these tiled out. Yeah? Yeah? Right, it's done look the at business. It. Double, double glazing. Yeah? That's what those farmers have got to stick together. Now, Jay Wallace Farming's farming and all and scrap. It's same business, yeah? Only thing is, scrap don't go off. Corn does. <laughs> Good day. Good day. Two. Hey, I'm Jonathan, how are you doing? I've just offloaded you. I'm here and here now to go and give you a payment, yeah? You'll be yep. paid in the next 10 minutes, yeah? Brilliant. That's how fast it is. I'll be paying you faster than you can get in your farmyard. Two minutes away. All right, Jonathan, new payment system. Thank you. Ta Sorted. So, staff. Um, I don't think you could read that bit on me shirt though, Jimmy, eh? <laughs> Honestly, it's a laugh a minute coming down here. You just don't know what's going to happen next. And it's Greyhound Stadium. I get Greyhound Stadium where they have sale. Every week, I think Wednesday and Saturdays it is. Wednesdays and Saturdays. A straw trailer that we didn't unload the other day, luckily. Because we've actually ran out of straw in the yard. We'll pull this in. And uh, we've got some for the morning then. Mills are running. That combined in, if anybody was doing any, um, we'll have stopped now. It is absolutely tricking it down. Just crushing, I should have probably shown you me doing it all uh, rather than showing you the end result. But um, just crushing a oil can. It's fairly dinted. If it was any good, I would have um, used it as a burning bin from a yard and just do it with one of them. But it wasn't, so I'm just going to go in there. Scrap trailer and we'll fill that back up and probably take that in whenever we take another load of scrap. Hello! No, not in there. We've had his dinner. Esme and I's a career as well as Bella. And um, we're gonna just keep filling that scrap trailer up. A few bits of sheets up here that we just want to get rid of. Um, tidy the yard up a bit. So now we're just moving some concrete panels around. Get these out of the way. More scrap bits. My dad will probably tell us that um, this one needs saving, but you know what? It's going in the scrap bin. If he wants it, he can get it back out. What are you doing? I can't get it. He's keeping the flies out. Are you a fly? No. <laughs> you can. Are you ready to go out in the yard? Yeah. How do we know you're ready? So you've got your coat on, haven't you? You've got your high vis on. And your wellies. Let's go! What is a high vis? What's what? What's a high vis? A high. A high. A high vis! This is high vis! Sorry, mate. What did you think it was called? Uh, high, high kiss. Yeah, high kiss. <laughs> <laughs>
You're gonna sit on there? Yeah? Oh, nail it. As it just said, farming's boring because you don't get to play with your toys while you're doing it. Didn't you? But, we're in a big toy! What do you think now? Do you, which toy do you like best? This toy. Why? Because, it, because you can push this one open and you can even... You can push this one open. Push it right up. Whoa. Obviously we've not been doing that because... Daddy, I've got a seatbelt! No, it's Daddy's seatbelt, that one, I think, mate. But, um, yeah, because uh, you have to be 13 to be um, in a tractor. Obviously we just... Isaac's just sitting in here for the... Um, for the uh, pleasure of sitting here for the moment and then dad he gets out when daddy's got to do his pushing up. Oh, isn't that right mate? Yeah. It's good, it's good. Bulls, do the people not ride bulls? Do people ride bulls? Um, they do in America and I'd like to go and see a rodeo in America. It's a bit crazy. And, they, and they can throw people and they can like try to like Kill the person to the riding or nothing. They do, yeah. They do try and injure them, don't they? And try to kill them. And try and kill them, yeah, yeah. But it's a fascination with death at this age. And they, and we're not, but 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 the people don't get injured, do they? People do get injured, yeah. yeah it's very, yeah. it's very. Um, Risky sport. And are the are the bulls really strong? Really strong, yeah. They can they can let go of the pe the idiots. They can what? Let go of the idiots. They can let go of the idiots. I think that might happen. Probably does. Probably does. Right. Anyway, let's get these cows fed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at this. We've got a nice fresh new bucket here. Noise with a bucket brush as well. And got some stop board on it. Look at me. I think I like it, but it's very plastic. It's what? It's made in plastic. Made in plastic? That's galvanised metal. That bit's plastic. So it can wear. You can replace it. There it is, I'm hoping it's bigger because um, we're not quite sure if it's bigger than my dad's ordered. Um, but we'll use it as the grain bucket and put uh, the brush on the older bucket. So we're just going to take our older bucket up there because I think that he's bought the same size and we thought we wanted to go bigger. Um, so we're going to take that up there and put it aside and see if it's the same. Took that one off. And if we get this put at the side, we'll see if it's the same or not. It'll actually look marginally bigger. It's a bit wider, I think, as well, but we're just seeing the um, blade on this one. Notice how much that's come out there, and this, <laughs> we've not got a great deal left, so we're gonna need to find some engineer somewhere to cut that off and weld us on a new piece. So if anybody knows of anybody, let us know in the comments. New wear plate on the bottom. This bucket is um, the one that we're gonna try to replace really cause it's getting a bit worn and patched up and yeah, we need, we need a new one. So that's why we've gone for, for that. And hopefully it is of equal size to this one. I think it should be. It's gone in a tractor. It's gone in a tractor, that's what you're going to tell Edsmith. And, and I drive it one. And you what? Drive it one. No, no you didn't. Did yes. you? Yes, I did. Um, no you didn't. Yes, I did. You definitely didn't. Definitely yes, didn't. I did. I've just fetched the milling. I've got that all dropped off. Um, well, PTO off and everything, ready for the morning. And I better start fetching stuff in. Sorting a few bits out on his car, so it's just me left. So I'm gonna um, have to probably move the bucket brush, push that in, put all the tractors away. And um, yeah, that'll take me a bit to get that done. But um, that's how it is. If uh, you've liked today's video, 
um, then remember to press the like button and subscribe if you're not already. Um, massive thanks to Jimmy down at um, J Wallace Scrap Metals. Not sponsored by them or anything, but I've just known him for a long time um, since we started. Um, well, since he's since he started down there, basically, um, and he's a massive character and um, yeah, has helped us out in the past with different things. Um, you can just pop down there. Have you got one of these? And it, yeah, come here, come here, and <laughs> find us something to make a man cage or anything really good as bits and bobs like that. So um, yeah, uh, that's it really from today's video. So uh, we'll see. Uh, in the next one we'll probably have a look at that bucket brush working if when it rains i think it'd be better to use it when it rains because they usually work better that way and um yeah so we'll see you see you in the next one hopefully it doesn't rain hopefully it takes us a long time to show you that working but i think over the next couple of days it might well do anyway thanks for watching guys we'll see you later bye